Welcome back to another acting analysis for animators. And today I'm gonna to take a look at a movie from the 90s called Searching for Bobby Fischer. Yep, it's a bit older, it's from the 90s, but it's a movie that I've watched maybe last year. I don't know how I got to this, maybe got into some period of um, chess games. I don't know, I was looking for it. Cool cast, it's actually a really good movie, really liked it. And there are three sequences that I'm gonna take a look at and they mostly involve gestures and looks that are kind of outside of the lip sync audio type of performance. There are moments that you can add as an animator, and if you've been following my uh, acting for analysis clips, then you know that I'm a big fan of those moments. So let's take a look at those. So in this one, scrubbing forward, you can see that it's, well, spoilers, but it's the end game between the kids, and it's kind of the end game between, uh, they are the mentors and the teachers. They're old rivals, and I'm gonna upload this as always as an unlisted clip and you can see it's mostly this moment here and then he retreats and then continues on but again you can watch the whole clip as always link in the description but it's basically for once they're somewhat old enemies but they don't really hate each other and just for a moment he says something nice to him and what i like is this gesture so as they have their conversation you can see there's this moment of hesitation he wants to touch his shoulder he wants to have that moment of you know, I'm sorry about this and, you know, don't feel too bad. And it's this. I really like this moment of he is about to do it. He hesitates. He knows, hmm, it's too much. There's still too much of a wall. And you can see his reaction. He almost senses it going up. Oh, not in there. Like, he looks away. But it's, it's an awesome moment to me that it tells us something about him. It tells us something about his intention towards him. And it's purely just in lifting the hand and hesitating and waiting and putting it away. And as always, to me, it's just a cool moment because you have your animation, you have your lip sync, you kind of stay within that rhythm and whatever the lip sync dictates that you do in terms of when you say something and so on and so on. So I like those moments where you can do something and you can add your own acting moments that take it out of the lip sync realm. And it's your idea, it's your personality, it's your sense of humor, your sense of time, whatever it is, but you're adding your own little thing to the animation piece. And whenever you add something that is your own personality and your own spin on it, so you can show your own creativity Creativity, to me it's always a big win if you can add that to your shot. The second sequence has a very similar moment of the character is saying something, kind of responds to the character, but they don't turn and look at the character directly. It's kind of a, he does something, kind of a secondary action I'm also a big fan of, so that you don't just have a character standing or sitting and delivering the line. The character is doing something and saying the line, but he hears something, kind of looks up, reacts, says something, then looks at the character and then continues. So those kind of offhand remarks without really addressing the character, add something to the attitude, which I'm a big fan of. And then towards the end, you'll see that the other character hears that response and then has this long thought process. He reacts, he kind of looks, looks around and goes, hmm, and then has that almost like that final conclusion. But anyway, instead of me talking, you should take a look at it. So it's this sequence. I'm gonna scrub forward to the moment. As always, you can watch the whole thing, link in the description. But it's this moment where he tells him a specific thing. It doesn't quite matter what he tells him to me. It's just the idea that how Ben Kingsley in this case, he waits, has an answer, and then looks over. And I really, really like just, even just from an animation point of view, that arc whoop, in there in his head, how he does that, but it's a very technical thing. But I love that he, he has his business, right? The secondary action where he does something, he goes about his business, he cleans up, does this, and it's always that implied thing off screen that I'm always a big fan of. And then he stops, waits a bit, has the reaction, and then turns over for that final look. Big, big fan of that. And then you can see the other character's reaction here as we pan over and we reveal the character here. I love all this. So watch his, his kind of processing of what he just heard. It's like, hey, wait, hmm, hmm, okay. And then continues on and they continue their discussion. But all of that is not in the audio. This is something that you can add. If you would do the animation, you could do something where he goes from this straight into that. It could just be something where it's a bit of a broader reaction. But I love all the little details here and I love that little moment of, hmm, okay. And the last sequence is very similar where the character hears something. That was my chair, holy moly, it's about to break. And in this case, the father says, well, you know, you're not done yet. And then the kid is in the bathtub playing. He goes, no, the game is over. You're done. I, I beat you. And it's this moment of him kind of looking at his wife, waiting and going, wait. And then looking over and then reacting. But it's just for me, always super interesting when you have a character react to something. So this could be where if you have two characters, 
one character really listens to the other. Because one of the common things is that you just animate characters, they just kind of move and you go through the motions. Of course, you might be preoccupied with the technical aspects of animating, but if you do have two characters and they're both of them are talking, I would really try to have the characters listen to each other. So if one person says the line, really have the other character listen and react and the moment they hear a specific word or something that you know, triggers somewhat of a reaction, that character would either wins or whatever it is, like it could be something body-wise or kind of a look, but make sure that the characters are listening to each other. And that could be just through doing some action and a stare, and then looking and then reacting, or it could be doing something and then lots of eye darts with lots of processing, wait, what, and then reacting. So there are obviously lots of different options, but I'm a big fan of that just because it shows that your character is thinking. There's a thought process going on and it's not just movement. We have nice arcs and you think about, you know, arcs and anticipations, easy ins and outs, but it, the character is there and is living and breathing and thinking and reacting to things. But anyway, as always, let's look at this. So this is a really, really long sequence. Again, I'm gonna upload this, but I'll show you that he, the kid is telling him what to do in terms of the game. He is so smart, he can tell him all this. And of course she knows, yep, he's smart, he's gonna beat you. So this goes on and on and on. And here he tells him, well, the game is not over yet. And in the background, you can hear the kid, yes it is. And he has that moment of wait. Oh, I think he's right. And then looks, and then you can see his face change. And then, bum bum, the reveal that he is indeed uh, done with the game. But it's this moment of even something like this. I love the, the framing of that. It's very animation handy with a nice triangle there. But you have this reaction there. And I like even just the timing of this, how he has that. Boop. Very, very sure. And you can see how the finger stops moving. Just all little moments of wait and stop. And no darts. He's thinking, looking over, and then whoo, the face relaxation of, yep. I'm realizing that I'm done. Now, the movie has great actors, there's a lot of other scenes that are really, really good, but to me, in terms of animation, those are really good moments where you can show your character listening and thinking and reacting to outside elements. This could be like, in this case, there are people talking and they react to what they're hearing, but this could be something where it's uh, an environmental thing where something breaks and they react. I don't know, obviously the, the possibilities are endless, but since a semester just ended for me at the Academy and at Animation Mentor, we've gone through a lot of exercises and one of the big things is really to take your animation to the next step and making sure that your character is thinking and showing that thought process and having your character react to things, um, be it even how they walk through an environment or how they pick something up and with familiarity or there's so many things that you can add. But in this case, I thought having characters hearing something and then reacting and potentially doing one more acting moment of I heard this and I'm reacting to this in a pantomime way. These are all great ways of, again, showing more personality for your character and just kind of advancing your shot so it's not just movement. And this doesn't have to be, you know, big, broad body gestures like in this last shot. It's just a close up of this doing something, whatever, however he had his hands, and then stopping and just kind of looking. So it doesn't have to be broad. It can be very subtle moments of eye darts stopping and looking, could be a hand dropping, or like in a previous shot where maybe someone, you see the upper body, and they're kind of looking, it's this slow drop of, hmm, okay, just, there's so many things you can do, but I highly, highly recommend that you explore that in your shot. So you go beyond movement and think about my characters in this scene and listening to the other character and get into that character's shoes of the moment I hear this and I'm hearing this for the first time, how would I react? Would I react with the body first? Would I react with the eyes or maybe the head first? So all kinds of different reactions, but that really show that your character is listening and then reacting to what they're hearing. That's it. So as always, thank you for watching. If this was helpful, let me know in the comments if you have any comments about the sequences, if you have seen the movie and you have other moments that you liked, let me know in the comments, that would be awesome. And the usual, like and subscribe and the awesomeness that you guys are doing. I see my subscriber count go up. So thank you so much for the interest. Thank you for the attention. I'm glad that you're not clicking away after 10 seconds. So if you have any concerns or requests, or whatever about these clips, you can leave me a comment and let me know whatever works and doesn't work. But I will continue until the end of the year. And the next year, it will be some slight change with new different type of uploads. But I will continue with the FNAs and the acting analysis clips. I got so much more to show you. So until then, Thank you for watching till the very end and I will see you tomorrow for another FNA.